There is a quick question before we start the video. Do you agree if I say that from our early age until now, the way of survival has not changed? It has advanced. If you don't understand what I'm saying, watch the video until the end, and you'll find the answer. This world is changing with technology that we have never witnessed before. This world is changing quickly, with new technologies emerging day by day. We can't keep track of all of them. As technology continues to improve, the military, which is the backbone of every country, should be prioritized first. It is crucial for nations to advance and stay ahead of their opponents. Today, you are going to witness some of the cutting-edge technologies that have been introduced in recent times. Today, we have something truly extraordinary techs of military to share with you. To beginning with the Holmatro door. Blaster is a compact device that packs an incredible punch, revolutionizing the way tactical teams breach doors in high-stakes operations. Door breaches are a critical component of any military operation. They require precision, speed, and above all, safety. The Holmatro Door Blaster excels in all these areas, providing tactical teams with a significant advantage on the battlefield. The Holmatro Door Blaster is an innovative tool designed to overcome the challenges faced during door breaches. Its compact size and portability make it ideal for a range of military operations. We're diving into the world of unmanned aerial vehicles with a focus on the groundbreaking Stealth Drone Squadron. The Stealth Drone Squadron represents the pinnacle of aerial surveillance and reconnaissance technology. Aerial surveillance plays a critical role in modern warfare and the Stealth Drone Squadron takes it to a whole new level. These stealthy and agile drones are capable of operating in highly contested airspace, gathering crucial intelligence without being detected. These drones are equipped with advanced sensor systems and high-resolution cameras, enabling them to capture detailed imagery and real-time video feeds from extreme altitudes. One of the most impressive aspects of the Stealth Drone Squadron is their ability to coordinate and operate as a cohesive unit. Multiple drones can work together, sharing information and executing synchronized maneuvers to cover large areas efficiently. Let's compare the Stealth Drone Squadron to traditional aerial surveillance methods. Traditional methods often involve manned aircraft, which can be limited in terms of endurance, maneuverability, and the risks involved for the crew. The Stealth Drone Squadron eliminates the need for manned aircraft, reducing costs and minimizing the risks to human lives. These drones can loiter in the air for extended periods, providing persistent surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. From intelligence gathering to target acquisition, the Stealth Drone Squadron continues to push the boundaries of aerial warfare. The future is here, and it's soaring through the skies with unmatched stealth and precision. I'm excited to take you on this exciting adventure exploring the capabilities of amphibious rigs. These remarkable vehicles are designed to traverse both land and water, opening up a whole new realm of possibilities. Amphibious rigs are engineering marvels that combine the best of land and water vehicles. They feature specialized designs, including watertight seals, propellers, and buoyancy chambers, allowing them to effortlessly transition from land to water and back. Whether it's crossing rivers, traversing swamps, or accessing remote coastal areas, these rigs can conquer any terrain, making them indispensable for military operations, disaster relief efforts, and even recreational adventures. Amphibious rigs provide our forces with unprecedented mobility and versatility. They can swiftly move across water bodies, enabling rapid deployment and enhancing our ability to conduct amphibious assaults and reconnaissance missions. These rigs are not just limited to military applications. They have proven invaluable in disaster response and recovery, allowing emergency teams to reach affected areas quickly and provide aid to those in need. As we can say this are of conquering land and water, we hope you've been inspired by the incredible capabilities of amphibious rigs. 
For more such content and valuable information, if subscribe for our channel and this share this to your belongings. Moving to next one. These incredible hovercraft-like vehicles play a vital role in enabling rapid and efficient sea-to-shore operations. The Navy Landing Air Cushion is a critical asset for the United States Navy. Its primary role is to transport personnel, equipment, and vehicles from naval ships to the shore, even in areas with limited or no infrastructure. The LCAC's air cushion technology allows it to glide over the water, making it an unparalleled asset for amphibious operations. LCACs are designed to carry heavy loads, including tanks, armored vehicles, and troops, with ease. Their unique air cushion system enables them to operate in shallow waters, marshy areas, and even on sandy beaches, providing unmatched versatility for naval forces. The LCAC's advanced design features a flexible skirt that traps a cushion of air under the craft. This air cushion reduces friction, allowing the LCAC to achieve high speeds and maneuverability both on water and land. Additionally, the LCAC is equipped with powerful propulsion systems and a unique hovercraft-like hull, ensuring stability and control during operations. The speed and versatility of LCACs give us a significant advantage in executing amphibious assaults. These vehicles can swiftly transport forces from ships to the shore, bypassing traditional obstacles and ensuring a rapid and effective response. LCACs enhance our ability to project power and execute missions across a wide range of environments. Armored Vehicle Launched Bridges, or AVLBs for short. These clever contraptions combine the power of armored vehicles with the ability to lay down bridges wherever they're needed. Talk about building bridges, quite literally. Picture this, my friends. You're out on a battlefield and there's this tiny little gap that's causing all sorts of trouble. Your tanks and vehicles can't cross, and you're left scratching your head. Well, fear not. Enter the Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, your trusty companion in bridging the gap, literally. AVLBs are essentially armored vehicles with a hidden talent, the ability to transform into a bridge builder. These behemoths roll up to the gap, and with a series of mechanical wonders, extend a bridge over the obstacle giving vehicles a safe and smooth way to cross. It's like watching a Transformer movie, but with bridges instead of robots. You know, I couldn't help but wonder, why limit the AVLB's bridge-laying prowess to just military operations? Imagine having a miniature AVLB to bridge the gap between the sidewalk and the street, or to help us avoid stepping on those pesky cracks. Talk about solving life's little problems with a touch of engineering brilliance. The M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle, or as I like to call it, the Obstacle Obliterator on Wheels. This heavy-duty monster is designed to smash through barriers, clear minefields, and pave the way for military forces. It's like having a bulldozer on steroids with a hilarious twist. Picture this, folks. You're faced with a seemingly indestructible obstacle blocking your path. But fear not. The AM-1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle comes to the rescue with its mighty plow, explosive line charges, and a big, bad sense of humor. When it's done, not only will the obstacle be gone, but you'll also have a few laughs along the way. The M-1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle is a force to be reckoned with. Its primary mission is to clear the way for military operations, neutralizing enemy obstacles and creating safe paths for our forces. But what sets it apart is its unique ability to bring some lightheartedness to the battlefield. It's like a party crasher for obstacles, demolishing them with a touch of humor. The M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle is a game changer in combat scenarios. Its ability to swiftly clear minefields, breach obstacles, and create safe paths for our forces significantly enhances our operational capabilities. And let's not forget the morale boost it brings. There's something about watching a massive vehicle charge through obstacles while cracking a few jokes that lightens the mood and keeps our spirits high. Now, imagine having a personal M1150 Assault Breacher vehicle to tackle life's little hurdles. Picture this. You're stuck in a long line at the grocery store and suddenly your miniature ABV appears, plowing through the queue with a comedic announcement like, clearing the way for impatient shoppers. Who wouldn't chuckle at that? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the DARPA Captive Air Amphibious Transporter. 
It may not fly, but it certainly knows how to make a splash. This incredible vehicle was developed by DARPA as a solution to the challenges of amphibious operations. It combines the capabilities of a high-speed land vehicle and a watercraft, allowing it to traverse challenging terrains and cross bodies of water with ease. Now, you might be wondering, how does this ingenious machine work? Well, let's take a closer look. The CAT utilizes a unique system of air-filled pontoons that allow it to float on water while providing stability and buoyancy. These air pontoons, or captive air cushions, create a cushion of air that lifts the vehicle off the surface, reducing friction and enabling it to move swiftly across various water bodies. He cat is not just limited to water operations. It's designed to tackle challenging terrains on land as well. With its powerful engine, rugged construction, and advanced suspension system, it can conquer rough terrain, sandy beaches, and even icy surfaces. The captive air amphibious transporter represents a significant breakthrough in amphibious mobility. Our team at DARPA worked tirelessly to develop a vehicle that could overcome the challenges faced during military operations in diverse environments. We're proud to say that the Kiat accomplishes just that. Buckle up, folks. We're about to take flight with the Sikorsky Raider, the helicopter that not only knows how to fly like a champ, but also has a knack for keeping things light and entertaining. He, Sikorsky Raider, also known as the S-97 Raider, is an advanced rotorcraft designed for both military and civilian applications. It's fast, nimble, and packed with features that will make your head spin in a good way. The Raider's impressive maneuverability isn't just for show. It's equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including coaxial rotor blades and advanced fly-by-wire controls, allowing it to perform incredible aerial acrobatics while maintaining stability and control. Now, let's talk speed, shall we? The Sikorsky Raider is no slouch in that department. It's designed to reach speeds of over 200 knots, making it one of the fastest helicopters out there. Just imagine arriving at your destination in record time and turning heads while doing so. From the early Stone Age to the modern age, the way of survival has remained unchanged. It has advanced significantly. How? This is what I said in the beginning of the video, so hear the answer. Throughout history, humans have made remarkable progress in various aspects of survival. In the early Stone Age, survival relied on basic tools and hunting-gathering techniques, means, in Stone Age, to conquer some animal or other person, they used to use some tactics and most importantly, they used different weapons for different purpose to conquer. However, as civilizations emerged, the development of agriculture, the domestication of animals, and the establishment of settled communities transformed the way humans secured their survival. In medieval period, also there is no much difference. In the medieval period, warfare played a prominent role as conflicts arose over territories, resources, and economic interests. Tactics and different weapons were used to conquer both animals and other people. In the modern world, significant advancements have been made in weaponry, including the development of nuclear and hydrogen bombs, as well as other technologies discussed in this video, and there are a lot. In the modern world, significant advancements have been made in weaponry. However, it is crucial that these advancements are not used against anyone as their destructive power can have devastating consequences. If you observe now clearly, the human nature is not changed from Stone Age to Modern Age in the terms of survival. We are still conquering and fighting for once, but with advanced tactics and technology, 